Okay guys, Chris Holdady here from SightHustleAcademy.com and I'm going to do a quick video here for you on how to go about creating your first survey. Now that I've kind of given you all the questions and how to go about uh, getting your survey started, I'm going to actually show you how to create a survey. Now these are some of the surveys I've done here in the past. Um, actually one I'm running right now is my Site Hustle Academy 2016 survey. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, this survey may have ended already. Um, but it's actually really simple. Once you've signed into your SurveyMonkey account, you're going to see something like this. So it's pretty simple. It's very basic, straightforward. It shows you all your surveys. To, in order to create your first survey, the thing you're going to want to do is go up to the right-hand corner here and create, click on Create a Survey. Once you do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is give your survey a title. So, for example, we'll just name this uh, Simple Survey. You can name it whatever you want, however you feel fits best. Uh, put a simple name in there uh, and just keep it simple. Uh, category, this really doesn't matter a whole lot. I usually, a whole lot, I just go with customer feedback. Uh, just because. Typically, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting feedback from the people that are in my audience. So once you got that figured out, hit Let's Go. So here we go. Now we have a blank setup here to create our survey. And one of the things I want to show you here is that it's very easy. It's drag and drop. All you need to really do is grab the type of question that you want to ask and put that in the in this spot. So for example, I like to keep it one question per page so again one question per page so the first question we might ask is let's say a multiple choice question so we can just drag that question over here so now we got a multiple choice question we might ask so uh, what is or do you have a side hustle right Okay, so we do that, and then we might say yes, or we might say no. And then if we don't, if we have too many columns here, we can just simply click that one and get rid of it. And also, we just hit save. There you go. One question com completed. Now, I like to go to having multiple pages and having one question per page typically. Unless there's a lot of little questions, I might group them together on one specific page. So now we got a question created. We can move on to the next. So we go down to the bottom here and hit Add New Page. So again, we, all we have to do is add another question. I'm going to show you a, um, let's see here, what do we got? Single text box, multiple text box. So that would be, let's do this one. This is more of an essay type question. We might ask somebody. Okay, so the question we might have is, is why do you have a side hustle? Okay, pretty simple. Now that we have this, we have a very simple essay there. We hit save, and boom, there you go. There's an essay question. People can write in the answer right there. Uh, one more question I do want to show you, so we'll add another page. And this is the matrix rating question. I like this question because it really gives an essence of the type of thing, for example, if you're going to try and create content. So let me show you. So what kind of content would you like me to create? Okay, so that's our question. We might go into the next section here. So this would be the rows. This would be what they're showing here, the rows. So we might say uh, con content. Let's say we want to talk about um, opt-in offers. Maybe that's a type of content. Or maybe we want to talk about email funnels. Um, or maybe we want to talk about uh, this one off there, creating products okay okay so 
So, we, and we can also allow them to uh, click multiple answers here. So that's a good thing. We, we allow them to do multiple answers or not. You can choose whichever way. And then here I like to do basically, this would be the, the column of the whole thing. So basically you might say uh, not interested. And you might say somewhat interested. And finally say very interested. And you can create more columns if you want. Uh, I prefer not to do it that way. I just try to keep it as simple as possible. I find if I keep the survey as simple as possible, I get people to give me answers quicker and they complete the whole thing a lot faster. So let's save this and this is what it's going to look like. Now that we've got that done, there's what the question looks like. It says, what kind of content would you like me to create? Opt-in offers, email funnels, creating part. You can get more specific than what I did here, but that's just a basics of how this works. So now what's great here is after, after you got that created, we can go up here and just do a preview test and see what our survey will look like. So here's what the basics of our survey will look like. We can see, we can go into, okay, why do you have a side hustle? We hit next. And then again, we can see how that works and we can, and there you go. So that is how you create a survey with SurveyMonkey. If you got any more questions about this, go to the comments at the bottom of this article, and I'd love to hear it. Thanks.